yeah friends this is Bukola <laughs> today I just can't tell you don't panic don't panic don't panic why because the word of God says so Isaiah chapter 41 verse 8 to 10 but I'm gonna try and read from verse um, 10 you know I'm, I'm using the message Bible so you can also use the message Bible if you choose to but if you have another Bible it's good so it says I picked you I haven't dropped you <laughs> don't panic I am with you there's no need to fear for I am your God mm. I will strengthen you I will help you I will hold you steady keep firm grip of you that's what the Word of God says I will hold you. No, look at the God of the universe that got the whole word in his hands. He says, I will hold you. So if he's holding the word and the word is not scattered with all the nonsense the enemy is doing, and he's saying to you, Don't panic, I will hold you. He's gonna hold you. God can be trusted. Sit down and get a word for yourself. Get a word that speaks to your situation. I'm not talking about the one, the message the pastor preached on Sunday. It's good. But you need to get your own message. So I sit down with my Bible and I ask God to tell me what to do. So every time I'm going through a situation, I just see this message, don't panic. And it tells me a whole lot that daddy has got it. And there's a place in the Bible that says, surely you are the God that walks behind the sin. The God that knows how to do things right. God knows what to do. You don't know what to do. You want to pay your rent. God knows what to do. Whatever you're believing God for, he knows what to do. Look at that wedding. I can't stop or talk about that wedding. They lacked wine. They went to the mother of Jesus. Excuse me, Mr. Gentleman. Is Mary selling wine? Thank God I didn't go for that wedding. Because I wouldn't even go to Mary. I would be looking for the next stop. Or I would just bring out my phone and be Googling, where can we get wine? But they went to Mary. Because they had already invited Jesus and Mary to that wedding. Don't panic. By your marriage, don't panic. Invite him. And Mary said, whatever he asks you to do, just go do it. And Jesus said, go fetch water. It looks so simple. Like my, my mentor and I were discussing yesterday. He said, you know, Bukela, because the word of God looks so simple, we don't want to take it. It looks so simple. Go and fetch water. We, you are using logic. Water. Water. H2O. Ah. We now serve people. Do you know what the master of the ceremony said? He said, why will you keep the best to the last? He did not know that because they did not panic, they went to the right source. He brought out the best from them. God is about to bring the best out of you. Yes, you had a goal for January. It didn't happen. It's okay. Don't panic. February it didn't happen. It's okay. March it didn't happen. Don't worry. All I want you to do in this April, don't panic. Believe God. So I'm going to tell you one testimony. We were believing God for some items to use at work. And it was becoming overwhelming for me. So I knelt down. I cried and I said, God, you didn't bring me here to suffer. This business you've given to us, I blessing, not sorrow. Where are you, God? I lie not. On Saturday, God showed up. He brought somebody from a far place. And the person made sure we had that thing. How many can you do when you panic? You will just mess up things. We need to learn to calm down. Yes, your rent is overdue. Calm down. Talk to the master. He will tell you what to do. Either he will tell you, talk to this person. I don't know how. Your mortgage, calm down. They say they want to suck you at work. Calm down. Just calm down. Because when you panic, you're just like a car without a brake. And you know what will happen? Accident. And you don't want that. 
God has got it sorted out. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's going to sort you out. No matter what. Your panic will not change anything. But your trust in God will change. If you can believe God on that he will do it, he will do it. See the chair you're sitting down. You believe the chair. Why don't you believe God? Don't panic. Don't panic. I pray for you. Whatever has made you panic, I pray that the oil of the Holy Spirit will rest upon you. I pray that God will speak to you. I pray that God who comes, the help of the helpers, will help you. I pray that your helpers will not be far from you. And I cry to God on your behalf that whatever makes you cry, whatever makes you cry yesterday, whatever is making you panic right now, I pray that the Holy Spirit will take them away. He carries burdens that we cannot cry. I'm going to leave you with this song. What a friend we have in Jesus. All are grief and sins to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Just carry everything to Him. No prayer is too small. No prayer is too big. God bless you. Bye for now.